we are provided the problem statement the problem statement starts as consider the single weight adaptive filter shown in the figure below see we have part a part b and part c to be solved after this figure we have part a where we are asked to write down the lms algorithm to update the weight denoted by w in the part b it is suppose that x of n is a constant x of n is denoted as opting the value capital k for n greater than or equal to 0 otherwise x of n will opt the value 0 so this is the definition of x of n to be a constant we have to find the system function relating the d of n to e of n using the lms algorithm that is find capital h of z in the figure below and part c the last part of the problem statement that is to determine the range of the values for mu for which h of z is stable getting back to the start of the problem statement here we have been provided the single weight adaptive filter so this is the schematic you see on the left hand side we have the two input signals here either you call signals or these are the discrete time random sequences here see x of n is the signal here that is the practical signal that is having the desired information as well as the noise or the interference component here whereas d of n is the desired signal to be available successfully decoded at the receiver end here so these are the two input operands i can see here for the adaptive filter structure we have the use of weights here the w denotes the weights here now we have the summation block here where d of n is added and x of n fed as input to the filter through the coefficients denoted by weight coefficients denoted by w is subtracted here and finally we obtain the error signal here now coming back to the part a to be solved here in the part a we have to write down the lms algorithm to update the weight w and this is the part b and finally the part c here so now see for the lms weight update equation we have w sub is n plus 1 is equal to w sub is n added by mu into e of n into x of n so w sub is n is the weight vector whereas w sub is n plus 1 is one step advanced to it mu is the step size e of n is the error signal the difference of the desired signal and the relative signal here and x of n is the input relative signal here so the question that it was write down the lms algorithm to update the weight w so for updating the weight with the steps here we have this equation w sub x n plus 1 is equal to w sub x n added by mu into the error signal e of n into the input signal x of n so this is the straight answer to this particular part of the question now in part b here you see in the part b we have been asked to have consideration that the input discrete time random sequence to the adaptive filter is a constant mathematically it is represented that x of n is equal to the constant capital k for n greater than or equal to 0 otherwise it is opting the value 0 here now we have to find the system function relating d of n to e of n d of n is the representation of desired signal whereas e of n is the representation of error signal we are already shown with the schematic here where you can find d of n and e of n and this relation we have to show by using the lms algorithm that is to find the capital h of z so this is the system transfer function in between the relation from d of n to e of n here so the schematic is also shown to us on the left hand side we have d of n and on the right hand side we have e of n here so let us solve this so with x of n equal to a constant here the error e of n we can determine see e of n formulation 
is d of n minus the estimate of d of n so d of n we keep as it is and the estimate of d of n as we know it to be a constant input discrete time sequence so it will be k multiplied by the weight w sub x n here so here w sub x n is equal to w sub x n minus 1 added by mu into capital k into e of n minus 1 this is according to the update equation of the lms algorithm here so therefore when we perform the difference e of n minus e of n minus 1 so this is equal to d of n minus d of n minus 1 minus capital k representation of the constant to be the input sequence multiplied to w sub x n minus w sub x n minus 1. We can also express it to the form d of n minus d of n minus 1 minus mu into k square into e of n minus 1 the use of step size here. So for the system function where the input is d of n and the output is e of n the relation we can express with the help of the system transfer function into the z domain that is equal to capital H of z the ratio of capital D of z to that of capital E of z so this we express as 1 minus z inverse divided by 1 minus in the bracket 1 minus mu times capital K square the bracket is completed and further multiplied to z inverse here so this is the solution to part b of the problem statement and then we have the last part part c to be answered the part c question is determine the range of the values for mu that is the step size for which h of z is stable see the filter adaptive filter will be stable if we have the condition satisfied that is mod of 1 minus mu into capital k square is less than 1 so to apply this particular condition it implies that the mu step size will be in the range mu is greater than 0 but less than 2 divided by capital K square so the range of the values of the step size for which the stability of h of z is there here it is the range from 0 to 2 divided by capital K square so it should be greater than 0 but less than 2 divided by capital K square. 